Hi, I'm Sophie, and welcome to my world. Today, we're doing an episode of Try It, Don't Buy It. You know, that slime craze just doesn't seem to be going away. It just continues to ooze its way through the internet and into our households. So, there's a brand new product on the market. Well, it's probably not brand new. It's probably been out for about three months, and it's called Elmer's Magical Liquid, and it promises that it'll make easy-peasy slime, just adding glue, to the Elmer's Magic. So let's give it a try and see if we should try it or don't buy it. I'm gonna be using the recipe that is suggested on the back here. Uh, in time, I'm gonna play with this and um, I'll give you guys some updates on that as I use it more and more. But it suggests using either a four, five, or six ounce container of Elmer's glue. Now I do wanna let you know that I did use this, I've got four ounces right here. I did use this product with a non-Elmer's glue and it worked just as well. So it doesn't have to be Elmer's glue. But uh, just to let you know, Elmer's suggests that you use Elmer's glue, of course. So that's four ounces of Elmer's glue. And then it says take quarter cup, which is two ounces, of the Elmer's Magic. Now you're gonna mix this in slowly. Now here's the thing. I found that I didn't need the entire uh, two ounces. So I'm gonna start with just a little bit here that I'm gonna pour in, and then you start stirring it up. Now right away you can start to see the Elmer's glue starting starting to harden up there. See how fast that happens? And it's really actually all, already a pretty nice consistency. But we're gonna add a little bit more here. So I'm probably up to about almost three quarters of an ounce, not, not even really a whole ounce now. Look at that, that's really starting to get really good. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little teeny bit more just to make sure that I got it going on. And at this point, this is about an ounce of it, I'm gonna start playing with it. Now, as you can see, it's a little sloppy but as you start to get the air in there, like with normal slime, it starts to take on a really good consistency. Now, the thing about this is that um, you're gonna find, you're gonna get to a certain point and it's still gonna be sticking to your hands. This is what I mean about doing this slowly, because what I learned is as you are mixing it this way, and see how nice and stretchy that is? I mean, that stretchability is so nice. So, so many times you're doing this and it breaks, your slime breaks, and that's no fun. You really want stretchy, good, cool, ooey, gooey slime. But see how it's sticky? See how it's sticking to my hands? So here's what I discovered. If you take a little bit of this Elmer's and you pour it onto your work surface, then you can kind of dip it in just a little bit and mix it a little bit at a time. And the more you do that, the better it gets. So see how I just mixed a little bit in there and it's starting to harden up a little bit so it's not quite as sticky on the fingers? So we're gonna play with this just a little bit more, watch. Just adding a little bit more, rolling it around there, just a little bit at a time. And again, you know, it says two ounces, but what I found was I probably ended up using about an ounce and a half. But as you can see, see how it's starting to get better and it's not quite as sticky. So now I'm gonna add a little teeny, teeny bit more. Now what's also great is that you can add, once you've done this, once you've got your basic slime going, you can add things like glitter, and it worked so well in clear glue, and I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, see, there we go. Now we're starting to get it. See how that's coming together? And it's so much fun to play with. This is such a great product, I have to say. So I'm just gonna peel this off of my fingers. I think I could add a little bit more just to make it extra, extra smooth and not as sticky. But what I do wanna do is show you what I made earlier. The other thing I like about this product is that it doesn't separate. You know, sometimes when you make your homemade slime, it separates. Well, this does not separate. Now I could still add some more. We should get this to the point where it doesn't stick. Oh, I'm almost there. 
And of course, this is the most fun, is of course playing with it and getting it to the consistency that you like. But see, now it's not as sticky. Now it's not sticking to my fingers. See that? And that was just, now if you look in my cup here, that's two ounces. We're really at about an, maybe like, gosh, an ounce and a tiny bit more. But you should definitely follow the instructions and the directions. So as you can see, you end up with some pretty good slime. Now let me show you what happened when I mixed it with clear. I ended up with this really awesome galaxy slime. So see, I was able to mix in all of that glitter and look how great it looks. Now, you can be the judge, but personally, for somebody who's made a lot of slime with a lot of kids and had a lot of mess because of all the inconsistencies when making slime, I gotta tell you, I think this Elmer's Magical Liquid is pretty amazing. So in my world, I say, try it. For more Try It, Don't Buy It's, check us out at sophie-world.com. And if you like the series, make sure you give us a thumbs up and leave us any comments down below. Hey, if you've tried this, let me know how your experience was with it. For more fun stuff, check us out at sophie-world.com.